Apartment building investing. That has gotten so popular lately. Everybody seems to want to multiply the assets they own by buying an apartment building that has 60 units, 80 units, 100 units. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys why it's become so popular, why you should consider it, and how to do it if you are interested. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to The Hone Zone where we help you multiply the assets you own. If it's your first time here, what I help you guys do is figure out how to multiply the assets so that you can create the passive income that you need in order to live the life that you want. And today's asset that we are talking about are apartment buildings. So let's get into how you can invest in apartment buildings and what you're gonna be looking for. When it comes to apartment buildings, the value is all in the income that the property produces. So the income is what's important here, and that's what we're gonna be focusing on. All right, let's take this apartment building as an example. This building is a 60 unit building currently renting out for $750 per month per unit. So per month, we are bringing in $45,000, and over the year, we are bringing over half a million dollars, $540,000 per year. Now the income that you bring in from the rent is just part of the story. The other part are the expenses because what we're trying to do is we're trying to come up with an NOI. That's net operating income and how you get to that number is you take your income, you minus your expenses and voila, that is your NOI. In this case, we are calling the expenses 50%. That is just a rough number. It's an approximation. When you're actually do doing an apartment building analysis, what you're gonna be doing is doing the actual expenses. So you're gonna be subtracting how much you spend in utilities. That's like water, electric, and gas. You're also gonna subtract your taxes, your insurance. There's also gonna be contracts, like your snow removal, your trash removal, and all of those kind of things. So your expenses at 50% means your NOI is at 270 thousand dollars per year now if we were trying to buy this building here that produced an noi of two hundred and seventy thousand dollars per year the question is how much do we pay for this building well that's where cap rate comes in so cap rate is one of those things that's super confusing so i'm going to try to break it down to you guys so over here we figured out that the value of the building is 4.5 million dollars that's how much we would be buying the building for if the cap rate was at a six percent Okay, so now I want you guys to try to visualize what cap rate actually means. So the cap rate is the return if you are invested with all cash. So let's take a look at it from a different perspective. Take the $270,000 NOI that you calculated over here. If you take that $270,000 NOI and divide it by the $4.5 million that we just calculated there, that should equal 0 0.06, which equals 6% meaning this apartment building produces a 6% return if you bought it all cash. If you bought it all cash, $4.5 million, the NOI that you're receiving, that's your return, that's gonna be 6%. And if all apartment buildings in the area are selling for about this, then that's what you're going to use to try to figure out what you wanna buy it for. So if you're buying it for a six cap, then there you go. That is the price that you're going to be paying for the apartment building. When you do your analysis, what you're gonna be able to figure out is the income because you're gonna know how many units there are and then you're gonna know how much the current rents are. And then you're going to subtract expenses as best as you can because there are some things that you're gonna be able to calculate and there are gonna be some things that you miss and there are some things that fluctuate like utility bills. So you're gonna do your best and then you're gonna come up with an NOI. And then you're gonna take your NOI and then you're gonna divide by some cap rate and then you're gonna come up with a price. And then you're gonna negotiate with the seller and see if that seller will sell the building for that price. And usually that's how it's done but this is an idea of what cap rate actually is. All right, congratulations. It is January 1st, 2022, and you just bought this 60 unit apartment building. The question is, what do we do next? Well, let's analyze the current tenants. So here are the 60 tenants here, and the 60 tenants are broken up into 20 groups of 20. So this first group of 20, they are on a month to month lease, meaning their lease is expired and they're just month to month now. They're, they still live there, but they don't have a lease that protects them and protects you for the whole year. These people have already uh, signed a lease back in, let's say June of 2021, back with the old owner. So their lease guarantees them to the end or to the middle of 2022, so in June. And then these people, they just signed right 
before you bought the building. They just signed, so they have a full 12 month lease in place, so there's nothing to do there. So what are you to do? You're gonna focus on these people first. So what you need to do in order to increase the value of this building, this, this number here, this $4.5 million, what we need to do is increase the rents. So the people here in on the month to month, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna to try to talk to them and say, hey, would you like to increase or would you like to stay or would you like to leave? If they like to leave, then fantastic. You're gonna redo the unit. You're gonna make it nice, make it pretty. And then you're gonna raise the rents for the next tenants that come in. So instead of renting it for say $750, maybe you're renting it out for $1,000, right? And, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that analysis in the next slide. But here, we're gonna to try to get these tenants either to pay more, pay the $1,000, or get them out, renovate the unit, and then get the new tenant to pay the $1,000, which is market rate. These properties oftentimes are owned by a mom and pop landlord, and they're not always on top of the rent increases. So over the years, a tenant stays there, they paid $750, next year they pay $750, next year after that, after that, after that, after that, 10 years later, they're still paying $750 when the market has gone up to $1,000. So now that's their our opportunity and why we decided to buy the building in the first place because it is priced incorrectly. Well, not incorrectly. It's priced correctly for what the current tent rents are, but it's not priced for what the market could bear. The market could bear $1,000. All of the, the apartment buildings in the area rent the unit for $1,000. You can raise the rents. So here, this is our first uh, call to action is talk to the tenants here. If they want to stay, let them know that they're going to get a renovated unit but their rents are gonna to have to go up, and if they wanna leave, that's okay too. Then once they leave, we're gonna renovate their units. All right, welcome to the future. So now it is June 1st, 2022. This is six months later. The first 20 units we have gotten the people either renewed at the higher rent, or they left and we renovated the units and we raised the rent. So now we got 20 times $1,000. And so that's $20,000 compared to what it was at 20 units at $750, which was $15,000. So we've just increased the income by $5,000 here in just the first 20 units. Now on to the next one, the next 20 units, we have the question or we have the conversation. Hey, do you want to stay or do you want to leave? But if you stay, the rent's gonna be $1,100. What we realized while we were renovating these ones is that people would be interested in renting for $1,100. The market changed, rents went way up, all of the competing apartment buildings all rent for $1,200. We're like, well, we can definitely do $1,100. So now these 20, they have to decide whether they wanna stay or leave, and if they leave, the new people will be paying $1,100. So now we're even staying below market, which happens. Also, I've added over here that, as I mentioned, hey, do you wanna stay or leave? If you leave, we're gonna renovate the units. If you stay, we'll renovate the units. Either way, we're renovating the units. And here, we're gonna spend $300,000 in rehabbing all 60 units here. So all in, we're in at $4.8 million. Now, obviously I'm not going over closing costs and all of the other things, but just stay with me. I just want you guys to understand high level concepts of apartment building investing. So now we got these 20 units, stay or leave, 1100, and then I'm gonna flash forward and I'm gonna show you guys that we're gonna do the same thing with this one, $1,200, stay or leave, and I'm gonna show you on the next slide what it looks like. All right, welcome to the future. Again, we are June 2023, and what we've gone on to do was we got all of these tenants out at 1100. We got all of these tenants out at 1200. 24,000 is what this brings in, 22,000 is what this brings in. But this one, 10 of the tenants from the original uh, renovation and uh, releasing, they moved out and then we re-rented it for 1,200. So 10 are still at the 1,000, another 10 are at 1,200. So there we got that. When you add all that up, that's $68,000 a month and $816,000 a, a year in new income. This is our new gross incomes coming in. All right, here's the 816,000 that we're bringing in. Now, here's one other thing that we did was, with the expenses, they used to be $270,000 in our old example. What we've done is, we found ways to save money. The last owner, they were really inefficient. Their property management was expensive. Their contracts with their snow removal and their trash removal were expensive. 
we were able to reduce the water usage with low flow toilets. We got high efficiency light bulbs. So we reduced all of the expenses and we got it down to $225,000. So when you take the 816 minus the 225, this is our new NOI. When you divide by that six cap, we have a new value, $9,850,000. Guys, do you see this? Same cap rate, new value because we were able to raise the NOI. So let's look at the numbers overall. All right, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the properties. It used to be rented for $750 per unit. Now it's $1,000 to $1,200 per unit. The Income used to be $540,000 per year. Now it's $816,000. The expenses used to be two seventy dollars per year. Now they're only $225,000 per year. The, the all-in number here, $4.8 million, was the $4.5 million purchase price plus the $300,000 in rehab versus our new valuation at $9.85 million. That is a grand total of over $5 million of value that we have created by increasing the rents and decreasing the expenses. Do you guys see why people are so excited about apartment building investing? Voila, $5 million of increased equity from this property. So now we could sell the property and make all of that money. It's amazing. Now, I didn't talk about any of the financing. I didn't talk about uh, the bank loans. I didn't talk about the equity. I didn't talk about syndication. I didn't go over any of that stuff, but I just want you guys to see the, the foundation of how apartment building investing works, this $5 million, this could go back to the investors if you used investors to buy the building. And we're gonna, we're gonna talk about all of that in another video, but right here, $5 million in profit and created equity from nothing, right? From just increasing the rents to market rate by decreasing the expenses because you're more efficient. Good operators make money out of thin air, and there it is, that's money out of thin air from the same building. So there's a perfect example of why people are interested in investing in apartment buildings. Who knew math could be so exciting, right? Making $5 million out of thin air. It's pretty cool. And you know what else is pretty cool? That 2022 is right around the corner. If you guys are watching this video already in 2022, fantastic. Welcome to the new year. But I'm excited because I have a lot of goals that I want to achieve. And there's a bunch of things that I'm going to be doing to improve my year. If you're interested in improving your year, then what you want to do is check out honezone.com slash 2022. There you will find out what I have coming up. If you get there, you either Either we'll see a questionnaire where you guys get to help me create the future or you will see what I've already created. So go check out honezo.com slash 2022. After watching this video, were you guys interested in investing in apartment buildings if you've never considered it before? Well, let me know below in the comments. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell icon because we release new videos every Monday and Wednesday here at the Hone Zone where we help you multiply the assets you own. All right, guys, that is it. I am Hone Tai. Let's multiply.